In this video, I'll be showing you how to send your USDT or USDC from your centralized exchanges to a decentralized exchange like the Phantom Wallet. All right, so it's very easy to do, but a lot of people don't know how to do it. I think the reason is because they might not be seeing USDC or USDT in their Phantom Wallet. Now, this is on Bybit, so I'll be transferring from Bybit to my Phantom Wallet. Anything I do on Bybit, you can also do it on KuCoin, Binance, Gate, or any other exchange. They are all the same as long as it's what centralized exchange. So, all right, so let's go. So, first of all, you need the wallet address from your Phantom Wallet. So, let me go to my Phantom Wallet and open it up. So, let me open it up like this. So, in my Phantom Wallet, I have different wallet and accounts. I have different accounts. You can see. There are different accounts here so i'm making use of this particular one to send the usdc i'm sending usdc so you can also send usdt i understand that usdt is being delisted from european exchanges but not in african exchange so you can still be making use of it while the issue is being resolved or just switch to usdc and just relax yourself from this day henceforth, you can just start making use of USDC instead of USDT. All right. So now to do this, first of all, you need to understand that um, this um, Phantom wallet, all the wallets here are all EVM wallets. You understand? Electro, um, um, Ethereum virtual machine wallet. That is what EVM wallet. So since they are all EVM wallets, all you just need is the chain wallet not each individual wallet what i mean is this now if you look at this this is solana wallet this is solana this is ethereum this is polygon this is bitcoin so all of these ones here are all chain network so solana is in a chain network ethereum is a chain network so all you just need is the chain wallet now if i open this solana which is a chain network and click on the receive this is receive here if I click on the receive, you will see the wallet address here. This is it here. This is my wallet address. Look at this wallet address very well. This is on Solana. Now, if I go to this coin that I have here, this is Rebit. If I open Rebit and then click on receive, you will see that it is, it is what the same wallet. That is because it's the chain. This, this Rebit is under the Solana um, blockchain. And since it's an EVM wallet, whether you are sending to, whether you are using the this solana to receive it or not you will still get that particular coin i don't know if you understand what i don't know if i'm making sense to you right now i don't know if i'm making sense let me just explain it again this is rebit right so this rebit if i send rebit to my phantom using my solana using my Solana network wallet address, using my Solana wallet address, it is going to appear on this phantom. And when it appears, it's going to show as Rebit, not as Solana, because it is what's a chain network and it's under the EVM what, wallet. All right, so let me just use, when I do this now with, with USDC, it will be clearer. So for you to send your USDC, all you just need to do is to choose the chain. Which chain are you sending it to? I want to send it to my Solana blockchain, not Ethereum, not Polygon, not Bitcoin. So I want to send it to my Solana. So I'll click on the Solana right now and then click on this receive. Click on the receive, then copy this Solana wallet address. When I copy the wallet address, I'll go to my Bybit. So I'm going to my Bybit right now. So before you send on your, before you send from Bybit, you click on asset. Under the asset, make sure that the money you want to send is on funding. So if it is on Unified, you transfer it. You click on transfer, transfer from Unified to funding. So right now my own is on funding like this. I'll open the funding. So this is what I have, USDC. This is what I have here. So I'll click on withdraw. So I'll click on withdraw right now. Then I will choose the, the coin I want to withdraw, which is USDC. So I'll paste the wallet address like this that is the wallet address once i paste it the next thing i will do is to choose the chain type you can see it here please choose a chain type so i'm choosing solana remember it's solana we are sending so always choose the solana if at this place you not choose a different chain 
that is when you lose your money let's say i choose bsc i will lose the money so let me go back i've chosen solana so i'll now put how much do i want to withdraw um let me just say i want to withdraw 13 dollars i want to send 13 dollars of course you're going to charge me one dollar you can see it here as fee so i'm sending this 13 dollars to my solana on phantom so i'll click on withdraw right there so once i click on withdraw i will verify i already know my wallet address which is g3 hme and at the end q5 nzb so i'll click on confirm so for me to since it is my wallet i can just add it to my white list like this just click on this now i click on confirm so withdrawal submitted already i've added it before to my to my white list right so now i have withdrawn it so i'll click ok and then i'll wait you can see the balance right now right here this is the balance so for me to see that i have sent it to my phantom i will go back to the phantom wallet and then let me come back to my home then i'll refresh here so it has not yet reflected so we are going to wait for it to reflect then you're going to see the total balance and of course you're going to now see usdc at the top here if you can if you notice right now there is no usdc here so let's wait for it all right so you can now see it here you can see usdc 13 dollars so right now the total amount i have is now 17 dollars so this is just how you send it and if you look at this place it's telling me that it is on what on the solana that is why you can see this solana logo at the bottom here so this is just how you send your usdc from any centralized exchange to your decentralized exchange you can do the same for uniswap for sorry for uniswap yeah you can do the same for uniswap you can do the same for sui or turn keeper all right guys that is it for me in this video in another video i can now show you i will show you how you can swap this usdc do this usdc to your solana all right guys that is it for me in this video till i come your way again remain blessed